For players with developmental disabilities, getting out on the ice is not only therapeutic, it's a lot of fun. Welcome to Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey, I'm Ashley Leach and today we're in New Canaan where members of the New Canaan Winter Club are hosting a special practice with the Southern Connecticut Storm Special Hockey Program. Stay tuned until the end of the episode to find out who won this month's Photo of the Month contest, but now let's find out what makes today's event so special. How did you learn about this program? My son was in the Greenwich Public School System and they had sent home a weekly flyer and there was a little note that there would be a hockey program starting uh, for children with special needs. We had to get my son involved. Why did you start this organization? I, like every other hockey mom, had a basement full of outgrown equipment. I perused the USA Hockey website and found American Special Hockey. So I called the president, Mike Hickey. Mike asked me, why don't you start a team up there? And I'm going, oh no, I don't know anything about this. I don't I have a child with a disability. And he said to me, Deb, if you did, you probably wouldn't have time to do this. Can you tell me a little bit about today's event? Today is an annual event. We get the kids to skate outdoors with some of the players from the New Canaan Winter Club. And it's just sort of a fun get together, outdoor skate. We bill it as our winter classic, and the kids love it. It's going to be really cold outside, but I mean, it's worth it. For the first four years, we doubled every year, and we've stabled out a little bit in Southern Connecticut at about between 40 and 50 kids. We're now in our seventh season, and we're going strong. When you meet them and when you see them, you won't be able to tell that that they're a disabled team. They have come so far, it brings tears to my eyes. What's the best part about playing on the ice? Seeing my teammates, they're pretty nice. Have you made a lot of friends playing hockey? Definitely. He has a great time with the other boys. Now he's referring to the other boys as his friends, his hockey friends. That took a long time in coming. We're so happy. One of the hardest parts for me to explain to people is the wide range of developmental disabilities the kids have. Probably the largest group of kids has autism. We have Down syndrome, we have children with severe ADHD, we have children with other cognitive disabilities. We're using ice hockey to teach life skills. One of the most profound things that our, our head coach Jeff said to me once is, when I'm not here, my son is going to have to live by himself and he's going to have to know how to do that. I never forget what, what Jeff told me. I never forget that. I think the biggest thing that I've seen in the last four or five years has been the confidence it gives them and it gives them some independence. A lot of life skills that these kids learn, like standing in line and doing drills over and over again, sharing, competition, working for coaches, working for mentors. What do you love about hockey? Scoring goals. I like skating on the ice. I just love it because I try to be like Ryan Callahan because he's my favorite player. How has this program helped your child to overcome their disability? Anytime you put hockey gear on, you got the weighted vest, the way of this, like a walking physical therapy OT session right there. So it's helped him amazingly with his balance and his grace, things like that. It's helped him relate to other children yes. much better and it helped him to learn how to control himself because he was very impulsive. He didn't even know what a puck was for, and now he's making goals. I've had mothers come to me crying. I'm going, what's the matter? And she said, my son just put his hand up, and he just said to me, I'll dress myself. That may seem nothing to somebody with a typical child out on the ice right. every day. To us, and to her, that was a miracle. They get their jerseys from us when they sign up. They wear those jerseys to bed, to school, <laughs> They don't get washed for a few weeks. They just, they wear them everywhere. It's a badge of honor for them. It's their first team. What would you say to parents or other uh, teams thinking about getting involved with the Connecticut Storm? It's a win-win for everybody, right? You know, you take athletics, you take fun. It's, it's so great for those kids. You know, it brings out certain aspects of them that they wouldn't get anywhere else. Seeing these kids out there enjoying ice skating and doing events that they normally wouldn't have the opportunity to do. So I think uh, all parents should embrace it. This program has been more than I ever thought it would be. I really would hate to think of never having gotten involved here. How do you fund your organization and how can people that want to donate get involved? We have our nonprofit status. We do a yearly Sound Tiger game where we 
try to create awareness, let people know where we are. The Hardin Brothers do a golf tournament every year for us. If people want to donate money to keep us going and to help us continue to enrich these children's lives, they can go to our website, www.ctstormhockey.org, and you can find everything that you need there. Congratulations to Jason Romano, the winner of our January Photo of the Month contest with his photo, Celebration. We hope you've enjoyed today's look at this special event, which makes a big difference in the lives of its participants. It's yet another reason why you just gotta love Connecticut hockey.